Hi everybody, I hope you're well. I'm at the amazing Eves Hall today, one of my favorite venues. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make really beautiful portraits using just natural window light. But then, how you can make those portraits really creative within just a couple of minutes. So, let's crack on. Okay, Demi, so first of all, I'm just gonna ask you just to stand where you are. That's beautiful, thank you. What I'm gonna do first of all is just demonstrate how I pose brides when I'm using window light like this. And what I'm trying to do is really maximize the use of the light to make the photograph as flattering as possible. And I've made a video all about this, that the human eye naturally looks at the brightest part of the photograph first. So if we can minimize that brightest point, then we can use that to make the photograph more flattering for the bride. So at the moment, as you can see, the majority of Demi's body is in the light. Thank you very much, Demi. And now I'm going to ask you now just to face away from the light, Demi, if that's right, and just be looking back towards the light for me. Whereas now, the majority of Demi's body is in shade. And what that means is that because we're seeing a smaller area, because the, the brightest part of Demi is smaller, it's just a more flattering angle. And I do the same thing with the face as well. So by having Demi face slightly away from the light and then looking back, the majority of Demi's face you can see here is in shadow. And the light side is just this smaller area here. That's called short lighting and it just makes a very flattering photograph. So that's how I tend to pose when using natural window light like this. So I'm just gonna take a couple of shots as Demi is there. Beautiful Demi. If I can just ask Demi just with your right arm, just to bring that veil around you if that's all right. The reason I'm asking Demi to do that is just so we're not losing her arm behind the curtain. That's beautiful Demi. Gorgeous. You can just do the same with your left arm if that's okay, please. So these, what I'm taking now, that's beautiful, are what I would describe as safe shots. And I always will do this with a real bride as well, because when we go on to use the more creative images in a second, if they don't work or if they're something that the bride may not be a big fan of, then it's important that we have the safe shots first. Excellent, thank you very much. So that's just a very quick way of taking really nice window light portraits. And the great thing about using window light is we always have it, well more or less, unless you're doing a wedding at midnight, we'll always have natural light. What I'll just do before I move on to the more creative images is just change from my 35 mm lens to the 85. As I've spoken about before, it's a really great way to get extra images for very little effort. So everything's already set up. So all I need to do is, is change my lens and then to take the same shots again. And I've got to go even closer to Demi, so this is just head and shoulders, beautiful Demi. Thank you very much. So now I'll go back to the 35. So if this were a wedding day, all these shots I would have taken literally within 30 seconds. So what I'm gonna do first of all is use the fractal filter. Now if you've watched any of my videos before, you probably will see me using this. It gives a really sort of crazy effect, but it works very well in contrasty light like we've got now. So I basically I'm focusing on Demi now, and then because I'm using back button focus, once I've got my focus, I then can just leave it there and then just work on positioning the filter where I want it to be. And I'm almost bracketing when I'm using this filter, meaning that I'm moving the, the filter in and out slightly because it's very difficult to use. So this is the advantage of using a camera with a large buffer like the A9, that I can just keep on taking shots and then choose my favorite after. Beautiful Demi. Gorgeous. What I'm gonna do now is just show you by taking a video on the camera itself what I'm seeing when I'm using this filter because it is quite strange. So you can see as I move the filter in and out, the effect changes slightly. Now these shots are what in the UK we would call Marmite because you're either going to like these or you're going to hate them. And that's the reason that I like to take the safe shot first. If you just concentrate on, on that, a creative shot like this and the bride thinks, oh, that's awful then you're gonna kick yourself for not taking something a bit more natural. So that's the factor filter. Now I'm going to use a mirror. You can, as you've seen in a video which I'll link to above, use your phone to do what I'm going to show you now, which is basically just to create a reflection. Now this mirror has two parts to it. This 
mirror here is like a zoomed in effect, which I don't like, but this side is just a natural reflection. So again, because we've got Demi in really nice contrasty light, it's really simple, beautiful Demi, gorgeous, just to create something nice and easy. I'm just trying to just to wrap your arms around each other, like that's beautiful, gorgeous Demi. So it's really, really simple to create this reflection. I'm focusing on the real life Demi, not on the, um, the reflection. This mirror also has these lights. If I press this button here, we get these lights. So again, let's just see what that does. I'm not really the biggest fan of it, but it will show you just, you've got the option to use them if you want. Beautiful Demi. Again, the important thing to remember is that we took the natural light shots first, the safe shots first, and then we start playing around. But by getting the safe shots, there's no pressure on us now to make sure that these are you know, going to be brilliant or anything like that, because we've, we've got nothing to lose if we take the safe shot first. Beautiful Demi. So now I'm gonna use this crystal. This crystal is quite cool because it has lights in it, as you can maybe see as I move it round. Now, one thing to note, and if, yeah, I think we're going to have to do this here, is that for this crystal to work well, we really want to light it up. Now, I, I was hoping that I'd have enough natural light coming in to do that. So the natural light on its own doesn't do a bad job, actually, but I feel as though we can make this look even better if we add light to this. So to do that, I'm just gonna bring in this little video light over here. And this light is basically just going to light up the crystals. Yeah, so that's, that's looking much better now. That's beautiful, Demi. So when you're doing shots like this, I always find that the 35 mil lens works the best when you're putting things right close in front of your lens. You can do it on the 85 or a 50, but the 35 mil is just the perfect focal length. The other thing to remember, perfect Demi, thank you, is that you want to make sure that you're using a very wide aperture. So I'm at f1.8 at the moment, which is the widest that this particular lens will go. We're now going to use this crystal. I'm gonna do exactly the same as what I've just done with the other one. Sorry, in other words, compose the shot so that Demi's on the right-hand side of the image, but we have light on these crystals. So the crystals themselves are being lit up by, by this video light here, and that's important. So if the crystals aren't lit up, then the effect just isn't gonna look anywhere near as good. Let's just see what we get here. So these crystals give a really nice, beautiful, really nice colors. In fact, what I'm going to do is just close these curtains as well, just to try and really exaggerate the colors that the crystals are gonna give off. Yeah, that's good. Beautiful, Demi. Again, I'm taking lots of shots, and as I'm shooting, I'm just moving the crystals around. That's good there. Amazing. Gorgeous Demi, thank you very much. So I hope that all makes sense. I'm gonna show you on the screen now my favorite shots from this little session. But again, the thing to remember is that we got the safe shot first. It's really important to get that safe shot before you move on to the more creative images to basically give you something you can more or less guarantee the bride is going to like before you move on to the other shots which maybe she won't like as much. So as always, I hope you've enjoyed this video. A massive thank you to Demi, you were absolutely amazing. Any questions at all, please put them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer everyone. And I will see you next time. Thank you very, very much.